Good evening, St. John's. I was in a conversation with my brother this evening, and I was reminded of an idea I had several years ago that I've never implemented at the church, and I still am not planning on implementing at the church, but I still think it's a great idea. And I say, share it now, not as propaganda for this idea, as much as uh, the spirit behind it. And years ago, I remember the bishop was talking about the parochial reports we return we turn in each year. Uh, this is part of the way the Episcopal Church collects metadata on just general trends in the church. And the parochial report has things like average Sunday attendance and number of members and your budget, and number of pledgers, all this kind of stuff. And the bishop said, it's asking all the wrong questions. And I totally agreed with him. Uh, these aren't the questions that prove is the spirit active in this parish becoming more and more like Jesus? And so I started thinking about it. What kind of data could you turn in that would really indicate the vitality of the spiritual life of a church? And this is the idea I had. You know how when you arrive at church, uh, a lot of people, you dip your finger in the baptismal font to remind yourself that you're baptized, that you enter church again that Sunday uh, with this visceral connection to I'm baptized, I've been forgiven, I am redeemed, I'm born again, whatever language you use. And so my idea was, what if we filled the baptismal font with a bunch of little metal tokens that were about the size of a communion wafer, and you grabbed some of them um, when you put your finger in the water and carried them with you into the pew. And what you used them for is when the offering plate came by, uh, you dropped into it one token for every person you forgave that week. It would be totally anonymous, no one would know, um, but it would signify, I put three tokens in the plate, three people were forgiven by this parishioner this week at St. John's. And when the counters count the uh, offerings in the plate, included in our offering are all these tokens, St. John's forgave this many people this week. And then we'd add it all up, and every month when we uh, publish our offering information in the newsletter, yeah, we brought in this much money and this many hundred acts of forgiveness were performed by members of this church. And it's not to say that forgiveness is the only aspect of faith, um, but we could tabulate it. Uh, and I guarantee that if people are actively forgiving multiple times in a week, there is spiritual life happening. I've often thought that forgiveness is the most powerful thing in the universe. If anything could be forgiven, what could trump it? It was Jesus' final statement from the cross, forgive them, Lord, they know not what they do. I think when we enter into a spirit that genuinely wants to release people from their debt of sin against us and set them free, that we have the power to release them, we are tapping into the depths of the spiritual realm where life happens. I know forgiveness is hard, but sometimes for me, it's not hard at all. It's like, I've got this thing that's been given to me, the power to forgive, and I can set you free, and there's nothing more that I want for you to be released. And I'm following Jesus, and this is what Jesus has shown the world, certainly what Jesus has shown me, and it's what I show you, and as one forgiven, you are one who is loved and embraced, no longer alienated from me, but loved by me. Why wouldn't we want this to be an active and daily part of the way we live? Let us pray. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. <coughs> Alleluia. Psalm 91. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High abides under the shadow of the Almighty. He shall say to the Lord, You are my refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I put my trust. He shall deliver you from the snare of the hunter and from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with his pinions, and you shall find refuge under his wings. His faithfulness shall be a shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, of the plague that stalks in the darkness, nor of the sickness that lays waste at midday. A thousand shall fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Your eyes have only to behold, to see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your refuge and the Most High your habitation, there shall no evil happen to you. <coughs> your eyes have only to behold to see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your refuge and the Most High your habitation, there shall no evil happen to you, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you in their hands, lest you dash your foot up against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and adder. You shall trump up, trample the young lion and the serpent under your feet. Because he is bound to me in love, therefore will I deliver him. I will protect him, because he knows my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I am with him in trouble. I will rescue him and bring him to honor. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Do not forsake us, O Lord our God. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, and drive far from it all snares of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace, and let your blessing be upon us always, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend to the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised, for these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God, the Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Good night, Kick Harbor. <laughs>